Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I just finished this Spectraply segmented twist blank. I love how it looks. I popped it into a kit and finished video recording that, and I just need to get that video edited for you now. And hopefully sometime later uh, next week or later this week, uh, we'll have a, a video out for you. I asked you guys to weigh in on the Black Locust Blank versus the Mesquite Blank for this gold longwood pin kit. And it looks like the Mesquite is outdoing the Black Locust about four to one. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. I did have a lot of people interested in seeing the Black Locust. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the Mesquite with this kit. And Dave also sent me a pencil kit. Same kit, but pencil. We're gonna do the Black Locust on the pencil kit. So I'll start preparing these today and these will be future video for you, for videos for you guys coming up in the very near future. I've got this blank that I finished up last night. It is a tube in Sierra blank and I built the entire blank using uh, Type Bond 2. You can kind of see where it's squished out right there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get this on the lathe and we're gonna turn it and see just how well it holds up. I've been told that Type Bond will work and uh, Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. I am gonna record this because I think it'll make an interesting video that I can pop in somewhere, but uh, I also will keep you guys updated on the progress. So because you're here and following these updates, you'll know before anybody else. I don't know if I ever would have thought to try it had I not seen Gabe's video, but this blank turned beautifully. I had no issue trimming the ends or squaring the ends of the blank. I had no issue turning the blank. The tube appears to be holding tightly inside of the blank so far, I'm calling this a success. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, this blank, get it polished up. Don't know if I'll press it into a kit or not, but uh, I just want to see what happens with it. If you've never heard of Gabe Castro, C-A-S-T-R-O, you should go look him up on YouTube. He does a lot of pin segmenting. Um, he has a video series that I bought a while back, and I don't know, it's three, four hours worth of video uh, to talk about segmenting, and he builds special uh, segmenting sleds that he uses on his bandsaw. Uh, he assembles his uh, his blanks, and then he basically, uh, the one I saw, or the, the video I saw, he makes a lot of them now that are uh, bespoke or kitless, but the video that I saw he was making, I think it was like a junior gent, um, and basically he uh, glued the tubes in with Typon. It held, and he said in the video that he has good luck with it. I never would have really thought to try it, but I remembered that video and I thought, man, it's going to be a lot easier with these than it's going to be using epoxy because epoxy is going to be difficult to, um, you know, to mix up enough to do the entire blank so that I can squash it and then mix up enough for the next blank. It's going to take forever. So I'm going to attempt to do these with tight bond. And I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Um, I'll let you guys know if I notice anything with them going forward. Time for a little update. I've got a bunch of these that have been... Uh, spiraled and glued up. You can see there's six of them in clamps right there. Over here, you'll see I've got quite a few on the table that have come out of the clamps. The one that I was working on, the CA glue is finished on it and it is dry. Um, what I did is I don't like to use activator. It takes a long time for medium to dry. So I'd put a coat of medium on, leave the lathe spinning. I'd go make three, maybe four blanks, come back over, it'd be dry. I'd put a coat on. And I just did that until I got five coats on it. So uh, it's, it's at the orange peel stage now where it needs to be micro mesh. And I'll be doing that after I finish gluing up all of these. I got all of my glue ups finished. They're sitting here on the table. Final drying, they're gonna dry overnight. I am real, real pleased with how these turned out. They look amazing. All right, time to get back over there and uh, get the orange peel off of that blank. Well guys, here's the proof that it works. This is a blank that I made using Type Bond 2 to glue segments together on a tube. I turned it, I finished it, it worked wonderfully. Uh, I am a little disappointed, and I mentioned this in the video, see the finishing job? I think I sanded through my CA. I got a little too aggressive with the first two, three pads and uh, sanded through my CA and it shows this blank will need to go back on the lathe. And basically what I would do is uh, use a little denatured alcohol to clean the wax off of it. And then I would uh, probably rough it up with some 400 or 600 grit sandpaper uh, and then go ahead and clean it and refinish it. And I think it can be made to look exceptional, but this was a test. I don't plan to put this in a kit. So this blank is just gonna go into the drawer of, of misfit pin blanks.
I need to get my table saw cleaned off. I moved everything over here from this table so that I could get a nice vanity shot of the blanks. But what I want to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and prep these two blanks tonight. And then if there's time, I'd like to get, these are the spectra plies I pulled out to start on a new type of segmented blank that I want to try. So I'm going to get this cleaned off and uh, we'll prep those and see how far we get. I have prepped the mesquite blank for the pin kit and the black locust blank for the pencil kit. The tubes are in and they are drying. So next time we come to the shop, we'll be able to turn on these. Um, these videos I'm kind of shooting at the same time. I shoot this one, then I shoot that one. So quite honestly, the content is going to be relatively, it's going to be close. <laughs> it's almost going to be like watching the same video. So I don't know if I'll just release one video or if I'll go ahead and release two. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. That's about it for me. I mean, you can see from my face, I'm sweating like crazy. It's super hot out here. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off. I'm going to go in the house, get cleaned up. And then we are going to prep this video for you guys and get all this other footage moved into the proper folders on the, uh, on the computer, because we've got, we've got footage for finishing this pin. We've got footage for the test of the CA glue. And then I've got footage for the pen and pencil kit of the, um, Rockler Longwoods. So we have a lot of work to do tonight. Don't know if I'll be back in the shop Monday night, but I sure will try. If not, I'll see you probably on Tuesday. Have a great evening. Thanks for hanging out with me.